Moving on, as the Central Bank of Nigeria's policy on restriction on daily cash withdrawal taken off uh, across the country today, economists have cautioned that the move may slow trade transactions and, by extension, the economy. Under the policy introduced on December 6, 2022, by the CBN, individuals can only withdraw a maximum of 500,000 naira, while corporate organizations can withdraw 5 million naira cash per week. Also, third party checks above 100,000 are no longer eligible for payments over the counter, as this they were ends for be paid into bank accounts. We're reacting to this development earlier today on TVC News' flagship business program, Business Nigeria. The Director of Research and Strategy at Chapel Hill, Denham, Mr. Tajuddin Ibrahim, noted that there are serious issues that are currently weighing against the policy implementation. He sheds more light on what he thinks. We take a broader view at it. It is indeed a good policy, and you know it should allow you know the CBN to be able to take more control of you know cash in, in terms of cash, um, you know withdrawals by you know Nigerians generally, and also the utilization of cash for transaction purposes and also for other purposes by individuals the cbn on the note on the back of this you know policy will be able in my view will be able to uh you know to to account for you know the the the, the currency that is in circulation talking about you know cash in, in this case so i think you know it, it is broadly speaking a, a good policy the only downside to my mind is around the timing Central banks across the globe are, you know, tightening monetary policy rates by raising interest rates, which is in turn not encouraging for consumers to borrow, for companies to borrow. So I think all those are indications that the global economy is probably going to witness a slow growth rate in 2023. And, you know, for those, you know, for the slow growth rate, it may mean recession for some of the advanced economies. My sense is that Nigeria wouldn't go into recession, but our growth rates most likely will be much slower than expected. Following the recent increase in Nigeria's crude oil production quota rising from 1.185 million barrels per day in November to 1.235 million barrels per day in December 2022, analysts say the steep growth can be attributed to efforts made by the federal government aimed at curbing oil theft. Also speaking on the projection of crude oil benchmark for 2023 budget, which is benchmark at 1.69 million barrels per day, the chief economist and partner at PricewaterhouseCoopers, Dr. Andrew Nevin, urged the government to strategically position itself to maximize the opportunities provided by the Russia and Ukraine crisis to increase its crude oil export base. Why would you have a situation where if you believe we're an economy, between the presidency, the Ministry of Petroleum, the NMPC, you allow production to decline from 2.2 million barrels a day back in 2010 to uh, 1, 1 million barrels a day. It's just incredible. It puts so much fiscal pressure. So many of the issues that we're discussing in terms of high interest rates of inflation and of the deficit arise because of that lack of revenue. Nothing is coming to the Federation account right now. So I think it's, it's really a, an issue of it needs to be inquired what level of mismanagement allowed oil production to drop so, so fast. On the other hand, the fact that they're able to bring it back, so it was 1.2, sorry, 1.0 million barrels a day in August, so it's now back up to 1.235, as you reported. Can they bring it back to 1.6? I don't know, but if they can bring it back that fast, then people should be asking why wasn't a lot of it declined in the first place. That's just put immense pressure on the system in, in many ways. So I think it would be very, in the course, the, the numbers, the deficit numbers that we quoted, which Dr. Andrew Nevin there earlier today. In another report now, a report says that our financial sector industrial goods, among other sectors, have maintained their growth trajectory in the current year. Well, that's according to a report from one of the securities company in Nigeria in 2023, charting through a pervasive slowdown. That's a theme. The report identified financial sectors, industrial goods, agricultural, consumer goods, and oil and gas sector to be the drivers of the stock market performance in year 2022. It further advises that Nigerian banks will maintain their growth trajectory supported by core income owing to higher loans and investment securities yields in 2023. 
Today's trading session at the Nigerian Exchange closed positive with the gains in market capitalization. The all share index increased by 0.93% to close at 51,700.36 basis points. Market closed positive as Thomas Worth led the gainers chart, followed by ABC Transport, Royal Exchange, Airtel Africa, a cheap PLC. Uh, on the other side, Union Bank topped the losers chart with 8.63% down, followed by Wema Bank 8.21% down, Ico Insurance 6.25%, Coverting 4.95% down, Stambik IBTC 4.33% uh, down. At the end of trading today, uh, that was the figures that we got from the NGX. Analyzing the performance is an investment banker and stockbroker, Mr. Mukhtar Muhammad. He examined the trade activities and he emphasized the need for cautious trading. When you look at um, why we see that percentage gain, it's just because of HL Africa. So major, some of the major uh, um, companies, especially the dividend-paying companies, seems to be flat today. Um, so with the exception of uh, assets, all of that were just flat. And when you look at volume also, a lot of people were not selling. So definitely what we are seeing is that the market has come to maybe a stage of equilibrium whereby people are beginning to wait for the result before they do any selling. And then some people are beginning to look at um, new entrance opportunities in other sectors of the market, especially those that are not paying dividends. So people are beginning to look at, will we be able to get capital appreciation from this space? That's why you see um, stocks like ABC Transport gaining. Asian shares rallied today as hopes for a less aggressive U.S. rate hikes and their opening in China's borders bolstered their outlook for the global economy. MSCI's broadest index of Asian Pacific shares outside Japan rose 1.5% to keep five months top, with South Korea's shares gaining 2.1%. Chinese blue chips added 0.4%. Hong Kong Hang Seng shares climbed 1.4%. Japan's Nikkei was closed for a holiday, while the S&P 500 features added 0.2%. Nasdaq features 0.3%, Eurostock 50 features added 0.5%, FTSE features firm 0.4%. Crude oil prices climbed today as the borders reopened in China, the world's top crude importer, boosting the outlook for field demand growth and offsetting global recession concerns. U.S. West Texas Intermediate Crude experienced an upward price review of 3.06%. To sell at $76.03 per barrel, Brent features also experienced an upsurge of 2.93%, selling at $80.87 .80 per barrel. Bonnie Light sells for $79.57 per barrel with a price review of 0.81%. And for the OPEC basket, crude oil dealers are offering $76.90 per barrel with a price decline of 5.40%.